Children adore them. Adults seem blind. The wildlife are all devotees. The squirrels and beetles and butterflies. The crows that confer in the trees. Spiders spinning webs in their limbs. Moss on their shoulders and knees. As if they were dreaming, the statues of Emo, are out here to practice Tai Chi. Days and nights are like tides on the move. The light fades, then inky black. Darkness advances. Our bleakest thoughts, faces trapped behind glass. Now the statues on their plinths of stone are like pieces left behind when some strange game of chess is abandoned. Games, the last things on our minds. Here, there, alone, together. Wounded, they convalesce. Whole worlds reduced to these small circles. They remind us of ourselves. Weeks turn to months and overhead the bright calligraphy of cloud on sky is swept aside until all the mind's eye can see is the soft machine of the lake waking up and slowly emerging from fog the tree line, the chimneys, the big house itself and these figures I've long come to love. The jogger facing her long road alone. The young mother on the school run. The postman bringing news of the world. Of things done and so much undone. This morning there's sunshine and promise. But even when frost grips these fields, the battered statues of Emo Court are out here to practice Tai Chi. One has an elbow that's bare to the bone. Others are fresh amputees. Yet nothing, not weather, not worries, not woes, prevents them from practicing Tai Chi. Through hardships nigh unimaginable, through insult and injury, the plaster statues of Emo Court all the while practice Tai Chi. I came here first with my mother. That seems a lifetime ago. Then slowly our roles were exchanged as we strolled. When I looked, she had already grown old. But the way she would stroke the cheeks of my boys, both long since taller than me in the blink of an eye, 
was a gesture distinct as a movement out of Tai Chi. And back in the days of the big house itself, the kitchens all bustle and steam, the gardens rich with pheasant and fowl, the lake full of rudd, perch and bream. Imagine the lady's maid sat up in bed, the pantry girl roused from her sleep, slipping outside under cover of nightfall to meet the young men of their dreams. The treasures of empire heavy on shelves, the brasses and trophies agleam, while they danced in their night shifts or wished that they might, like the statues that practice Tai Chi. The Jesuits too, in their time, came and went, the leaves shed by time's tree, the statues consigned to the depths, so it said, holding their breath for years. I've watched them since I can remember. Their poise, their fragility. While we pass by in a relative blur. Slaves to industry. Some nights in a small frame of moonlight. Some days under inches of snow with nothing much other to do with their time and nowhere else to go. Spiders spinning webs in their limbs, moss on their shoulders and knees, as if dreaming the statues of Emo patiently practice Tai Chi. And who can say what's in the future, where the path up ahead might yet lead, but the light will return to admire the resolve of these statues that practice Tai Chi.